Hello, welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, okay, thank you. Welcome to this channel, Simulation Aspen. Uh, this channel will provide you simulation of different chemical processes using Aspen Plus mm, for today. <clears throat> uh, I came with uh, co-pyrolysis and uh, gasification of biomass and plastic waste to produce uh, seeing gas. I hope this work will, will give you good indication and good hints for your introduction regarding to pyrolysis and gasification of biomass and plastic to produce zingas. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you got helpful for you and uh, if you have if you need assistance for any simulation problem you are welcome to send email by this email I try to try to reach out and uh, be with, be with this. Okay, let's come to the work. First, I have to appreciate uh, Miss Mel from Western West Africa for her cooperation to do this work. Okay, thank you, Mel. Then uh, let's go to the detail of the process. Okay, let's come to the proports. Okay, uh, we enter all components that are participated in the process, the whole process, uh, like carbon monoxide, uh, hydrogen monoatomic gas and diatomic gas, carbon dioxide, water, methane, nitrogen and uh, we just I plus plastic as main conventional compounds and uh, biomass biomass assume that the biomass contains 100% cellulose and uh, just for the gasification uh, we need oxygen so I pro we provide oxygen here and uh, we enter like this. Then, as uh, an unconventional component, uh, as I told you earlier, I put plastic. Okay, great. So, I just uh, plastic, I enter plastic by taking the ultimate and proximate analysis of my sample. So, accordingly, uh, when, when I come to uh, the method, yeah, yeah, here is the method. I use this ideal method. Then let's go, let's go to the simulation. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Great. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh, here, for simplicity, uh, I separate decomposition of plastic and uh, the biomass in different reactor. Like for biomass, I use decompression, and there, and there I use another reactor and just one gasifier for both of them by supplying partial oxygen okay and as heat supplier for gasification uh, we supply heat steam water okay okay so let, let's see the detail of uh, the process okay when it came to the plastic, uh, actually, um, plastic 
we assume plastic as non conventional components, uh, we can get uh, data, ultimate and proximate analysis data from different literatures. Uh, so for plastic, uh, I obtained one ultimate and proximate analysis. So let's see the detail in the input. So you see in the ultimate and proximate analysis, just yeah, in the first the plastic we are at room temperature, right? Everything we are at room temperature. In the beginning, so pressure one atmosphere, and uh, we assume mass flow of three hundred kilogram per hour. Then I provide the ultimate and proximate analysis for my component plastic, which is proxanal and uh, alternate analysis of plastic. See, the moisture content is 0 0.02, which is, this may be your experimental results or your reference from, just you take reference from literatures, okay? The ultimate and proximate analysis of your sample. This fixed carbon, volatile metals, ash compounds, then the summation must be 100. When we come to the alternal analysis, see the ash content zero, carbon is at 5.96, hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, and uh, yeah, see oxygen. Actually, you can also sulfur analysis. You can provide if you have the sulfate and organic content of organic content in the plastic. Okay, when we came to the biomass, actually, our biomass is for now for this work is cellulose. So, <coughs> so we have cellulose. The loss uh, is at the beginning room temperature, so um, it's 400 kg per hour. Yeah, so see, it, uh, we have to include a moisture content for it 200 water and 200 pounds. Okay. Then, after that, we have to uh, increase the temperature of our sample to the temp reactor's temperature before entering to uh, before entering to the reactor. We have to reach our sample's reactor, our sample's temperature, because this is flow this is flow process, right? One flow process, so we have to reach the reactor's temperature. So this is a heater for plastic to reach the reactor's temperature. Not only reactor's temperature, but we have to increase reactor's temperature. We have to approach the reactor's temperature before entering the reactor. Okay. This is a, it's, it's, uh, this main task is to reach the reactor's temperature. Okay. Then when you come to the dryer of the biomass. Uh, yeah, it's 100 degrees centigrade. We have to evaporate the water, right? The water in the reactor, the biomass. <coughs> yeah, during uh, you see during uh, During the drying process of the biomass, the cellulose, cellulose were decomposed to hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So we include this reaction here. See, thus, they are during the decomposition process. No, not decomposition, during drying process, there is partial conversion of cellulose to hydrogen and carbon dioxide at high temperature, around 100 degrees centigrade. This is partial conversion, so we include this one. Then uh, the next is the